vCenter Server 7 introduces a fresh look in the vSphere client with a redesigned summary page. Quickly identify your vCenter Server's version, build number, last update, as well as the last file-based backup of the server. Clicking on the backup date quickly brings you to the vCenter Server management interface to review backups. vCenter Server Profiles is a brand new API-only feature that allows an administrator to export existing vCenter Server configurations from one node and import them into another vCenter Server. vCenter Server Profiles consist of four REST APIs, List, Export, Validate, and Import. When the List API is executed, it returns a listing of the configurations that can be imported or exported. Next, an administrator can export the vCenter server configuration as a JSON file for easy editing. Using the Validate API, the administrator can validate the configuration changes with respect to the target vCenter server. Lastly, after edits and validation are complete, the Import API is run to pass the desired configuration changes to the target vCenter server. Note that changes to the vCenter server via these APIs do not require a reboot of the vCenter server. vCenter Server 7 introduces Update Planner. Update Planner is part of vSphere Lifecycle Manager and is used to facilitate vCenter server updates. Update Planner handles updates, patches, and upgrades all within the same interface further simplifying vCenter server lifecycle operations. Upgrade and migration have also been simplified in vCenter Server 7. Now when upgrading, if the SSO domain includes any external PSCs, the vCenter server upgrade will converge those PSCs to an embedded vCenter server during that process. Alerts for this new process can easily be seen in the vCenter server installer and also the vCenter server migration assistant. Note that any external PSCs that have been converged during an upgrade must still be decommissioned via the cmssoutil command. vCenter Server 7 now supports multi-homing. This can be helpful when separating network paths for specific needs. It is important to note that NIC1 will always be reserved for vCenter HA. vCenter Server 7 introduces check-in and check-out operations for updating virtual machine templates. Checking out a template allows tracked edits to be made. Checking in a template saves the new changes and versions the template. When a VM template is stored in a content library, check-in and check-out actions as well as template versioning is available.